seconds ago. I found out I have thrips on one of my plants that I know of. I'm pretty pissed about it. I'm moving past it for the sake of the video. Okay. <sighs> That's some bullshit. Okay, really moving on. Today is otherwise an exciting day because it's a, it's a moment in time wherein I get to share something that we've been working on for a millennia. Also, I haven't put on makeup in a minute, so I feel like the fanciest bitch right now. You can't even understand what's going, what's going on for me emotionally. So we have a new product coming out for Auric. Um, it's called Plush Ritual. It's a lip treatment. Um, and I'm gonna tell you all about it today. When we had kind of started really working on Auric and we were starting product development of a bunch of things, um, I had a notebook that I had like this huge list of all these products that I wanted to eventually come out with. And on that list, one of the things said, the best lip balm ever. I don't know what's gonna be different about it, but it's going to be the best. This product would seem like it wouldn't take that much development behind it. It's just like, it's, you know, I again, I feel like people are gonna be like, it's a lip balm, you know? Um, it I, I cannot describe to you and yet I'm going to describe to you at length in this video how many different things popped up in the development of this product. But first and foremost, why we started developing this product is because we tried this texture from um, a lab that we already work with in Italy. Um, and we were like, wow, this is like the most beautiful texture for a lip product ever. Um, and we were like, do we want to maybe like put pigment in this and make it like a sheer lipstick or something like that? And everybody on our team was just wearing it constantly as we're developing, you know, they would send out, let's say the first sample. And then by the time they're sending out the second sample, it's like, you have barely made a dent in it because there's so many more samples coming kind of thing. But every single, I shit you not, every single sample I've received of this, which there's probably been maybe 10, every single sample I've used to entirety. So it started with this really beautiful, super buttery, um, really plush kind of texture. Um, and we had eventually said like, why don't we turn this into a lip balm and add some like really beautiful active ingredients to it. So it's doing more for your lips than just feeling really beautiful. Like it's actually working and, and doing more than just hydrating. So from there, after we had this beautiful texture that we really fell in love with, we decided to start playing around with, um, adding in actives at different levels and stuff like that to just see like what blend created the best, outcome for us. And what we ended up landing on was this one ingredient that's derived from um, French white lupin seed and ceramides. At first, um, we were kind of looking at doing maybe like a topical collagen additive. Um, and as we were reading more about it and learning more about it, it just didn't seem like that was something that was actually um, providing much results for people. And then our lab helped us source this really beautiful ingredient um, that actually stimulates collagen production in your skin. And there was clinical studies done with this particular ingredient that showed that it significantly improved um, elasticity of the skin as well as firmness and reducing sagging. And then with our ceramide ingredient, there was clinical studies done as well. And this was also shown to improve skin elasticity as well as improving um, both the amount of wrinkles in people's skin as well as the depth of them. And this duo together fire. This is something that happens in product development because you're, you're developing things for so long that by the time you get to launch, you're like, I'm, I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to show you. But at the same time, like I have so much other shit that's going on now that I'm just like, it's kind of overcome this situation that's taking place. And now I'm really excited about these things because it's just, again, like it's, I've known about this product for years, you know, this is not the case with this particular product. I just like, I, I, cannot wait for you to get it in your hands. I cannot wait for you to just like feel the texture, see what it does for your lips. It's the, it's, it's the bomb. I hate myself. And something that I noticed while we were testing this product as well, um, is that oftentimes if my lips, because my lips do have moments where they get super, super dry. Um, and oftentimes if I put a lip balm over top of that, it would look like, the same texture, like my lips would still look very textured and very dry, but just like there was balm over top. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. When I put this balm over top of my lips, no matter how dry they are, they instantly look better. We really wanted to avoid referring to this as a mask because I feel like, I don't know what it is, but if as soon as someone calls something a mask, I'm like, I can only wear it at night. <laughs> this is something that 
all day, all night, underneath lipstick, over top of lipstick. It's, it's like a non-negotiable for me. My baby. Let's get into the endless complications that came along with this product, okay? The packaging debacle of 2019, 2020, and 2021. <laughs> so when we got the original sample of like the texture of the balm from um, our lab, it was in like this slim lipstick tube. And we liked that applicator, um, but first of all, it, there was very limited deco capabilities so like we weren't able to do a whole lot to the packaging itself um which just it doesn't work for me personally um but also we realized that this particular formula um because the texture is so buttery and so soft and so plush it has a lower melting point than um some other like more traditional lip products we didn't want to sacrifice this texture by having to add more waxes or whatever else to um have it be a harder formula basically. But when we had that first sample that was in the slim tube, um, one of our team members was down in Palm Springs and um, the tube melted. Not the actual tube itself, but the product inside melted. And so then we kind of went back and forth between like, okay, we love it in this slim lipstick tube. It looks really beautiful, but we don't wanna get this product in people's hands and have it potentially melt if you happen to live in a place other than Canada where it gets above 10 degrees. Um, so then we were kind of like, okay, we don't want to sacrifice this texture, but we also don't want to have a product that's going to melt and get all over the place when you're carrying it around in your bag. Because for us, again, like we carry this everywhere. So we decided we were going to put it in a jar so that even if the product did melt, it would be in this airtight jar. And we did testing with this as well to make sure that if it does melt, it still will maintain its same texture and consistency and all of that kind of stuff um, when it firms back up. Then of course we had the discussion of it's COVID and people don't really wanna put their fingers into jars anymore. And back when I had Twitter, I also tweeted being like, let's say you were to have a lip product in a jar, how would you feel about that? And everyone was like, I don't wanna put my fingers in the jar, man. And we were like, we feel you. Then we launched into this whole expedition with packaging of like, how are we going to include something that you can apply it with that isn't gonna get dirty and disgusting in a package, isn't going to fall off of the package or out of the package or whatever so that it then, you know what I mean? Like it's like when you lose an applicator, it's just like, then what was, what was this even worth? Okay. It's like soul draining. Just thinking back to it. We spent hours, hours and hours and hours brainstorming what we could do for an applicator. What would make sense? What would check all of these boxes? and complement this formula so that we didn't have to put the formula in a lipstick bullet and risk it melting. <laughs> and it was actually one of our packaging manufacturers that um, we had been talking to about this whole issue. Um, and we were like, we just like, we're kind of at a loss. We're not really sure what we want to do here. And we had been going back and forth and they actually suggested, um, why don't you use the smoke reflect pack and we'll make a spatula, we'll tool a spatula that can sit in the lid where the shadow would normally sit. So we have it in our beautiful little smoke reflect packaging and we made the cap this high gloss nude color. Um, so same thing as smoke reflect, you have the um, lip treatment on the bottom, which is this really beautiful, just kind of beigey nude shade um, that is really sheer. It doesn't really give you a whole lot of color on your lips. We just wanted a shade that was gonna be really easy to use day or night. So at night or on like no makeup makeup days when like you just want like something to make your lips look better but not necessarily like add any color. Um, and then during the day, like if you want to wear it over top of lipsticks or whatever, um, it's not going to really change the tone much of what you're wearing underneath. Oh, this little foamy thing is so cute. <laughs> There's a lot of times where there's like some small, tiny little detail that like I don't get to see until like the last second um, or I won't get to see it all together because um, a lot of the times like I will get the, well, all the time, I'll get like the lid sample and then I'll have a jar sample and then, you know, obviously the formula and the shade and all that kind of stuff. But I don't get to like see it all together until usually like right before we launch. Um, and so I just got these finished goods in the mail like yesterday. Um, and I had never seen, I knew that we did this. I knew that we put this in here, but I hadn't ever seen it, but we have this like cute little foam <laughs> 
circle that just keeps our applicator from knocking around in there, which I actually could do kind of like the sound of it when it's not in there. Just listen to this. That's without the foam in there. That is just pleasant to my ears. But anyways, if you have the foam in there, you can't hear it no matter how much you're shaking it around. And then in the top, we have this really cute little jade spatula. So we had kind of talked through like what material do we want this spatula to be made out of? This is what we do on our off time. And we went through like different applicators that we had received with like skincare products and lip products and all this kind of stuff. Um, and we just felt like anything that was like a doe foot kind of texture, or, like any kind of cushiony texture or brush texture just gets so dirty and like mucky. Same thing with like silicone textures and stuff like that. We had talked about doing different types of metal, um, but I, I like the cooling aspect of metal applicators. I'm kind of weird about metal things in near my mouth area. Like I don't like the flavor. I don't, do you know what I mean? When it's like, it's like a feeling almost like of a flavor. <laughs> it's like when you have like a metal water bottle, Ugh. Some metal water bottles are better than, this doesn't matter. Some metal water bottles are better than others, but you know what I mean? When you get like a water bottle that's metal, that's like not great. I didn't want that situation happening on my lips. That's what I'm gonna get at. And so we had kind of gone back to, um, you know, all of these things that originally inspired our brand. And, you know, we have stones, we have like natural stones featured very heavily on our packaging. The topic of Jade came onto the table. And there was very little looking back from that point. We went through a lot of trials with this jade because it was hard to get at the perfect shape and thinness and all that kind of stuff so that it would fit perfectly in this lid. And we had been talking about the jade for a long time. It had been kind of in development for a long time um, before we saw any samples of it because our lab was just, you know, working through different issues that were coming up with working with this natural material. When we got those first jade spatulas in the mail, the squeal that was had. They're the cutest and they're just beautiful and every single one is different and unique, just like you. <laughs> every single one is like a slightly different shape and color. So they are all hand carved and they turned out so much better than we could have ever imagined. Like everything, it just felt like we were hitting so many roadblocks with the packaging um, and how to keep this formula, what we wanted it to be and the texture, what we wanted it to be and not having to sacrifice that. Um, and then finally, like the way it came together was just like bliss. What else do I need to, oh, the packaging. So for the secondary packaging, we wanted to pay a little homage to our holiday packaging because if you received it, I'm sure you felt similarly to me. It's stunning. It was a crying shame to have that be a limited edition situation from the beginning. So we brought back that kind of um, lighter stone um, texture that we had on the holiday packaging um, and we made it a little bit more neutral to match, you know, our neutral packaging on the primary. I think that's all I have to, I mean, I could, I could go on truly, um, but I won't. But this is our new launch. We're ecstatic. Cannot wait. I don't know what the launch date is at the moment that I'm filming this. Oh wow, look at this ethereal sun moment that I'm getting. It's blinding my eyes. The heavens parted, plush ritual came down. This for you, baby. All of the launch information and everything like that will be in the description box below. Um, we don't have an exact date right this second, um, but it's coming soon. And by the time I have this video up, I will have the exact date and it'll be in the description box below like I mentioned before. Okay, great. Thank you guys again, as always, so much for your support with Auric. Can't wait for you guys to have this one in your hands and to hear your feedback. Um, and I think that's it for me today, and I will see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>